It is told in 2093, humanity is suddenly attacked by monsters, turning the world into chaos. It leads the crime rate to increase in all around the world. The government gives up handling the problem. Several years later, a hero comes. He is called Zero. He successfully annihilates all the monsters. This leads the heroes to start appearing and return the world in peace. After his wish is fulfilled, Zero disappears from the world. The scene switches, and it is seen a young man called Lin Ji, who is the person behind the hero Zero. At the same time, a group of heroes from Shishin family is holding a concert. Suddenly, a villain called Black Hand and his troops appear to take revenge. As a result, the fight between Shishin group and Black Hand side is ensued. After the group of villains have been defeated, Lin Ji comes and puts the cuffs on Black Hand's ankle to hand him over to the police. Later, it is revealed that Shishins had paid Black Hand to fight them to raise their heroism. However, Black Hand doesn't want to get caught, and he breaks their agreement and shows his real power. As a result, he manages to defeat all those heroes. After that, an E-rank hero called Zan Chen comes to stop him, but he is beaten easily due to the large gap of their powers. Even so, Zhang Chen refuses to give in and goes to protect Lin Ji. Moreover, he states that as a superhero, he cannot leave others and escape. It touches Lin Ji, and he shows some of his power. Zhan Chen is amazed to see Lin Ji manages to defeat Black Hand and intends to make him his assistant. Shortly after, one of the strongest heroes in A City, Dong Zui arrives and asks what is going on, while Lin Ji has left the scene secretly. Arriving at home, Lin Ji sees his sister, Lin Wang, scolding a rich man named Long Wenfeng, who is asking her to be his girlfriend. It is then revealed that she refused the man because she likes Zero, the hero, whom she doesn't know that the hero is actually her own brother. Lin Wang scolds Lin Ji because he still hasn't got a job. Lin Ji and his sister, Lin Wang, live alone after their parents died. Surprisingly, Zhang Chen arrives at their home and he mentions his intention to make Lin Ji his assistant and talks about the salary he will get. Hearing that, Lin Wang accepts the offer immediately. The following day, Lin Ji goes to Hero Association to take the Hero Registration Exam. He spots a statue of Zero surrounded by several SS rank heroes. However, he doesn't remember he fought along those heroes in the battle back then. Zhang Chen explains after Zero disappeared, the Hero Association issued regulation to classify the heroes by their power. Finally, Lin Ji has arrived at the exam room, and he will face the examiner, a B-class hero named Yatin. Lin Ji will pass if he can hold his attack for three minutes, but Lin Ji states he will beat him. They begin the duel. Yatin gets angry because Lin Ji underestimates the hero's power. After a quite long battle, Lin Ji manages to defeat Yatin, much to Chan Chen and the officer's surprise. The officer then tells Lin Ji to take the written exam. Hearing that, Lin Ji is shocked, and fear is showed on his face. Returning to Yatin who is brought to the hospital, Dong Ziyer sits next to his bed. She explains Lin Ji's power is equal to A-class hero, but he gets bad score in written exam. Elsewhere on the screen, it is announced that Lin Ji is sorted in E-class hero. Lin Ji and Zan Chen see a man with glasses who are arguing with three other heroes. They tell him to leave the association. Moreover, they state that he looks like Zero who they assume weak and idiot. Hearing that, Lin Ji and Zan Chen stand up to give them lesson. They introduce themselves as Class D heroes called as Golden Triangle. Just then, a hero called with Shi Jing Guqiao, or also called as Unlucky Ghost appears and scares them. The man with glasses then introduces himself, mentioning his name is Yan King. Shi Jing Guqiao also introduces himself as Shizun. Shizen tells them that he is Class E hero who hasn't got any friends except a little lowly in his heart. Unexpectedly, turns out Lin Ji also has a picture of the little girl. Feeling they have something in common, Lin Ji invites Shizen to be his teammate. Shizen goes on to explain why he is called Unlucky Ghost. He explains that he has always brings bad luck to everyone around him. When he was a child, all the orphanage he lived in had always experienced disaster. Furthermore, he tells them about his encounter with Zero when he was rescued by the hero, but he accidentally breaks the pillar and ruins the building. Lin Ji rushes to save everyone from the ruins. Yan Qin is severely injured in this accident and he has to brought to the hospital for further treatment. Despite of the accident, Lin Ji still asks Shizen to be his teammate, even though Yan Qin refuses it. Finally, they carry out their mission in the outskirt of H City. It is rumored that there is a prohibited item transaction going on in the district. 
After monitoring for quite some time, they finally find their target. Two groups are seen trading a biochemical monster. Lin Ji and his friends are heading to the scene to catch the criminals. Yan Kin is seen using his equipment, enabling him to move to where the glasses he throws. Meanwhile, Lin Ji accidentally hits the monster to the downtown, causing chaos in the downtown and makes everyone panic. Soon after, Lin Ji and Zan Chen arrive at the downtown and begin to fight the monster. However, because Lin Ji uses his power brutally and makes a mess everywhere, Zhan Chen tells him to leave it to him. Zhan Chen then uses his equipment, a water purifier, to stab the monster and defeat it. Yang Qin and Shizen arrive at the scene, and we the citizens cheer for their victory. Later, it is seen that Zhan Chen finds a little girl in the area, much to their surprise. Lin Ji brings the little girl to their base as they don't know who she is. Just then, Dong Zuyer comes to visit them. Lin Ji asks her purpose of coming there, and it is revealed that it is related to the little girl. Dong Suyer explains she had investigated the genetic evolution company that carried out several experiments to abandon children, including to the little girl they found. Hearing that, Lin Ji gets mad and asks what the heroes had done all this time. Dong Suyer explains she found out that the president of Heroes Association, Aoniang Rui, is one of the people behind this. Scene switches and shows Lin Wang, who scolds Lin Ji for taking the little girl with him. Fortunately, Yan Qin and Zan Chen clear up the misunderstanding. When they are looking for something for the little girl to wear, Lin Ji notices that the Golden Triangle heroes are tailing them. As Lin Wan leaves them, the three heroes show up. They ask Lin Ji to hand the girl over and tells Dong Zuir's whereabout, who is currently being sought by the association. However, Lin Ji and his friend refuse to speak up and fight them. After defeating the trio, they return to the store and find Lin Wang has completed her duty. She also names the girl Mu Mu. She then asks Lin Ji to let Mu Mu stay with her. As a result, Lin Ji has to live with them to protect them. Elsewhere, Ouying Rui is angry because his men failed. However, the person from the genetic evolution company tells Ouying Rui not to worry because he has sent his men to clear up the problem. Later, it is seen a girl named Fi Wu sneaks into Zhan Chen's house, but she accidentally enters the experiment room. Shortly after Zhan Chen arrives, Fi Wu then puts an equipment into his mouth and attacks him with another equipment that leaves him naked before her. Freak out, Fi Wu leaves his house, while Lin Ji gets to see the person who is spying his house. He is Class A assassin and is assigned to kill Lin Ji, but Lin Ji defeats him in one strike. The man then injects a particular madness potion developed by the genetic evolution company into his body, and he transforms into a monster. This doesn't give hard time to Lin Ji, and he succeeds knocking him out quite easily. Lin Ji tells the man to leave, but he states that he will go after his sister and Mumu. Enraged, Lin Ji goes on to kill him. As he returns to his house, Lin Ji recalls Dong Zuir's words which asking for his help to fight Aoyang Ru. Finally, they gather to discuss about the assault. In the mission, they will be also helped by a hero from B-City called Xiao Yi and heroes from Muscle League, where their mission is to obtain the Madness Potion so that it will not spread in the market industry. However, Xiao Yi seems not to believe in Lin Ji and his friend's strength. Thus, Dong Suir tried to unify them. After that, Dong Suir and the others are spying Aoyang Ru, but the heroes charge forward without Dong Suir's instruction causing havoc on the site. It turns out Aoyang Ru has hired the strongest hero from H-City called Zhu Liji. Dong Suir instructs Lin Ji to beat the leader of Genetic Evolution Company, while she will face Aoyang Ru. As he is ready in front of his opponent, he is ambushed by Fi Wu. Soon after, Zhan Chan arrives to clear his path, and Lin Ji goes on to fight the leader of the Genetic Evolution Company. At the same time, Xiao Yi seems to have a hard time dealing with Zhu Liji. Thus, Yan Qin comes to help her. Xiao Yi rejects him as she thinks he will only be a burden to her. Seeing Xiao Yi is defeated, Yan Qin immediately shows his power to attack Zhu Liji. With his help, Xiao Yi finally defeats him. Unexpectedly, their opponent is still alive and fight them back. Elsewhere, Zhang Qin gets hit by Fei Wu's sword, and Dong Zuir who is having hard time facing Aoyang Ru. Aoyang Ru states she is a weak hero as she doesn't have a solid planning. Meanwhile, the president of Genetic Evolution Company injects a potion to deal with Lin Ji, but he still doesn't make it. On the other hand, Zhan Chen tries to convince Fei Wu to leave her job and work with him. He is aware that Fei Wu never wants this job. At the same time, Yan Qin is beaten up for blocking Zhu Liji from killing Xiao Yi.
It gives in severe injuries and he falls unconscious. It triggers Xiao Yi to unleash her power, and she manages to kill Zhu Liji. Returning to Dong Zuir who nearly gives up, Lin Ji arrives and saves her. Aoyang Rui injects the poison into his body and transforms into a monster, but he is still no match for Lin Ji. After a short fight, Lin Ji manages to defeat him, followed by Zan Chen with his new teammate, Fi Wu. Xiao Yi arrives and calls out for their help to save Yan Qin. Yan Qin and Zan Xian are brought to the hospital to get treated. However, the news hides the truth that it was them who managed to catch the criminals. Later, Lin Ji arrives and followed by Dong Smear, who seems to take interest in Lin Ji. She informs that Heroes Association will give them special training as rewards. However, Lin Ji rejects it as he thinks it will only waste his time. Xiao Yi thinks he is arrogant after defeating two Class A heroes. Lin Ji then states that they cannot beat him even if they are together. Xiao Yi gets angry with his words, and they decide to fight him on top of the hospital building. They work together to beat Lin Ji, but he manages to withstand and counter their attacks. After a fierce fight, Lin Ji wins the battle, and he bids goodbye to fetch Mumu, while Dong Suir tells the others to pack up. Later at the evening, Lin Wang is angry and scolds Lin Ji for taking a street dog home. Fortunately, Mumu manages to convince Lin Wang to take it. The following day, Lin Wang walks the dog to the central laboratory in H-City. At the same time, a professor named Dr. Qin is meeting with the head of Aoyang Ru family that asks her to heal Aoyang Ru. However, she states she cannot heal him due to his serious injuries. As they are about to leave, they encounter the young master of Dong family called Dong Yang. He apologizes to Aoyang family for what Dong Zuir has done. On the other hand, Dong Yang also has business with Dr. Qin. He asks Deer, Kin to finish the experiment. He also asks Dr. Musili to help her to speed up their work. Elsewhere, the heroes gather at the association to welcome their new president. Just then, Xinxin approaches Lin Ji and proposes to be his disciple. Soon, it is revealed that Dong Yang is the person who is going to be the new president of the association. After Dong Yang finishes his speech, Dong Zuyer goes to meet him. Dong Yang then asks her to go home and not to cause a problem anymore. At the same time, he finds out that Lin Ji and the others have heard their conversation. Dong Yang expresses his gratitude towards them and asks Lin Ji to join with Dong family. Unexpectedly, Lin Ji refuses his offer. Dong Yang states that there are some people who he cannot offend, but he will open his door for Lin Ji. However, Lin Ji will not make up his mind. It makes Dong Yang angry, and he uses his strength to make them kneel before him. Lin Ji then unleashes his power to stop Dong Yang. Dong Yang realizes not to mess with him. On the other hand, Lin Ji who notices something is off with Dong family asks Shizen to watch Dong Zuir in her house. Just then, Lin Ji gets a call from Lin Wang, who tells him to take the dog that she has examined, while Lin Wang is visited by Dr. Yuzili to check her work. However, Long Wenfeng suddenly appears and tells Lin Wang to leave the laboratory as he finds out that Dong and Aoyang family had assigned Dr. Musili to carry out a dangerous experiment in the laboratory. But Lin Wang refuses to leave and decides to save Dr. Qin first. Long Wenfeng then assigns his men to watch Lin Wan and makes sure her safety. On the way, Lin Ji notices there are some people watching the laboratory. Therefore, he decides to deal with the matter. Finally, he finds out that those people are from Long family. He misunderstands the situation and gets angry. He thinks that Long Wangfeng is going to do something to his sister. Arriving at Lin Wan's place, Lin Ji gives her a necklace that can be used to ask for help. But she tells Lin Ji to leave the laboratory. Switching to Dong's manor, Shizen is seen keeping his eye on the family. He spots a wealthy man comes to the manor to fetch Dong Zuir. It is then revealed that Dong Zuir is betrothed to that man to serve as a symbol of peace for the two families. Shortly after, the heroes from Muscle League arrive to save Dong Zuir. The man then introduces himself as Dong Zuir fiancé, Ouyang Zihao. Even so, the Muscle League heroes still determine to save Dong Zuir. Thus, they have to deal with his robots. Due to the wide gap of their strength, the robots are able to defeat the heroes easily. Dong Zuir tears up seeing that and asks Aoyang Zihao to spare her friends. Just then, Shizen fires his bullet towards Aoyang Zihao. But much to his surprise, Aoyang Ziha manages to catch it, and Shizen has to collapse in his hand. Aoyang Ziha then takes Dong Zuir with him, leaving his house. When the robots are trying to kill Shizen, Lin Ji comes and rescues him. Using the Fire Spirit Sword, he can annihilate the robots in a short time.
Elsewhere, Ouyang Zihao finds out that his robots have been destroyed, and at the same time, he wishes to have Lin Ji's fire spirit sword. Returning to Lin Ji who gets angry after finding out that Ouyang family is the mastermind of this matter. He promises to take Avenge Shizun and rescue Dong Suir. Lin Ji and his friends gather to discuss about the mission to rescue Dong Suir, even though Yan Qin doubts that since Aoyang family is the strongest family in C Zone, meaning that they will be their target. Thus, John Chen and Lin Ji convince him. Later, Xin Chen comes and wants to help Lin Ji. They go on to see Fi Wu and asks her to hack Aoyang family's security system. Lin Ji is furious as he finds out that Dong family matched Dong Suir with Aoyang Zihao to resolve their conflict with Aoyang family. Luckily, John Chen calms him, stating that if he attacks them directly, it will make his friends in danger. Thus, he sets up a plan and asks Xin Xin to mobilize his fans to make a fuss in front of Aoyang residents. At the same time, Fi Wu and the dog, Du Du will turn off the security cameras and system, while Lin Ji, Zhan Chen, and Yan Qin will be in charge to complete the mission. Switching to Dong Suir, who seems to get ready to carry out her engagement. Later, they are visited by Aoyang Zihao and a man whom Xiao Yi likes. After that, the man invites Xiao Yi to leave the room. After their departure, Aoyang Zihao grabs her hair and throws her on the floor. He asks her about Lin Ji. He finds out that Lin Ji and his friends have started their move, returning to Lin Ji, who tries to hide his identity by using a mask and replaces his weapon. Soon after, their presence is caught by Xiao Yi. Yan Qin gets angry seeing the girl he likes is with other man, while Lin Ji and Zhan Chen leave him to finish their mission. Finally, Lin Ji has arrived at Dong Zuir's room and invites her to leave with him. However, she refuses as she doesn't want her family to get in trouble. She also doesn't want her friends to be targeted by Aoyang family. Hearing this, Lin Ji states he will try his best to keep their safety. Dong Zuir finally agrees to escape, but on the way, they are stopped by Aoyang Zihao, who have been waiting for them. Lin Ji then decides to fight him alone, where if he wins the duel, Dong Zuir will be spared. Meanwhile, if he loses, he has to give his sword to him. Lin Ji agrees, and they begin the duel. At the fighting arena, the head of Ao Yang and Dong family are present to witness. Despite being arrogant at the start of the duel, he eventually realizes that his strength is no match for Lin Ji's. However, he chooses to fight him to keep his dignity. Lin Ji attacks Ao Yang Zihao and corners him. Oh Yang Zihao uses his strongest power to counterattack, but it still doesn't affect Lin Ji. Lin Ji then unleashes the final blow, and he wins the duel. Furious, Oh Yang Zihao activates and throws a scroll towards Lin Ji, and it explodes. The head of Ao Yang family explains that it is the scroll of forbidden curses that were created by SS level master. Dong Suir tries to look for Lin Ji at the arena, and she is surprised to find Oh Yang Zihao is still alive. At the same time, Lin Ji shows up and decides to finish him immediately. The scene switches to the laboratory. Dong Yang is seen doing experiment to himself. It is revealed that he desires to have power like Zero, whom he assumes is God. As a result, after his experiment gains success, he goes to find Lin Ji and shows his power to everyone. Perceive it as a threat, Dong Yang intends to kill Lin Ji. In the fight, Dong Yang accidentally gets into Lin Ji's mind and sees him crying over a girl. Doesn't want the world to be in chaos? Lin Ji then shows zero form in front of Dong Yang. Dong Yang is shocked and doesn't believe it. Thus, he chooses to continue the fight. With his justice sword, Lin Ji finally manages to settle the disaster. In his last moment, Dong Yang explains that his initial purpose of becoming the god is to remove all the crimes in the world, but he is consumed by his desire and deviated from his true purpose. He asks the secret of Lin Ji's power. Thus, he shows all his wounds from the battle as he struggled to obtain the power. But as Dong Yang asks him about the girl he saw in his mind, Lin Ji refuses to talk about that. After that, Dong Yang died and turns into ashes. After the incident, Lin Ji goes to the laboratory to see his sister. Just then, he receives a message from Dong Suir who wants to see him. At that place, Lin Ji keeps thinking about Dong Suir. They finally meet, and the anime meets its end.